Hey guys, it's Aislinn, and in today's video, we are going to be shaving my face, and we're gonna be dyeing my eyebrows with Dollar Tree Black Box Dye. I have done this before. I will leave a link to the video of me dyeing my eyebrows up there. I also mentioned these face razors I got in my Black Friday haul. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link right up here for you guys. I've been wanting to shave my face for a long time. I normally wax my eyebrows and wax my lip and like wax my face, but I've not done that in probably about six months. I cannot wait to shave my face and get all of the peach fuzz off. I'm gonna dye my eyebrows first and then shave my face with the razors because I don't want to potentially irritate my skin with the razors and then put permanent dye on top of irritated skin. Doesn't sound like a good idea, so I'm just not gonna chance it and I'm just gonna dye my eyebrows first. As you can see, um, this is my natural hair color. It's about a level seven dark blonde or light brown. And my eyebrows are really, really light and I fill them in very dark every day. So it'll be a lot easier for me to fill in my eyebrows if I dye them darker. And because I have so much peach fuzz around my eyebrows, I'm also able to dye my peach fuzz. So if I wanna make my eyebrows a little bit thicker, than I can with the dye. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off my makeup and we're gonna get started with dyeing my eyebrows. In case you ever wonder what I look like with half makeup, half without, now you know. Okay, so now that I have all of my makeup taken off, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the black hair dye. I just put a one-to-one -one ratio on the back of the color box. I didn't wanna mix up the whole tube for just like a little bit of color. I have done this before, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than I did it last time. So I'm going to draw in my eyebrows like I normally would, but I'm gonna do it with the color. Before, I just took this spoolie and I just went like this with my eyebrows. But because I'm trying to dye some peach fuzz too, I'm just gonna go ahead and act like I'm drawing in my eyebrows with the dye. I know I should put Vaseline or something around my skin so that way the dye doesn't stain, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's gonna take some time for this to develop too, so I'm kind of just guessing right now on where to put it because you can't see where you put the dye because it hasn't oxidized yet. I have also seen videos on Instagram or um, eyebrow dyeing I've seen videos of people dyeing their eyebrows and I found it so interesting and I found a great tip. So this time I'm going to apply it like I normally do and then once it's applied, I'm gonna let it all sit for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna wipe off the inner part of this and then let the rest process for another 10 minutes. So that way the inside is lighter than the outside because naturally I fill in my eyebrows darker on the outside and lighter in the inside. So that will help when I'm filling in my eyebrows if the inside is a little bit lighter. And you can see this eyebrow's already starting to oxidize. That happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. But I mean, I guess it is black, so. And the shape doesn't have to be perfect. Anything will help me more than what I have to work with now. And now I'm just gonna take my makeup wipe and go around this. Try and clean it up a little bit. Oh, it's already staining my skin. That's great, 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 great. Okay, so now that I have the outline, I am going to take this spoolie and just go over everything to make sure all of the hairs are coated really well. I don't know if I'm gonna leave this on for that amount of time. I feel like I'm just gonna leave for 15 minutes total. Oh my God, my skin is already so stained. I think I'm actually gonna let this sit for five minutes and then wipe off the inside of my eyebrows right here and then let the rest sit for another five minutes and then wipe it all off because this is already staining my skin. I'll see you guys in five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Let's wipe off the inside of my eyebrows. This is going really well. <laughs> I feel like I should probably just wipe all of it off. Oh my God. Why don't I learn my lesson from things? I think I'm just gonna wipe it all off, honestly. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what have I done? Okay, wow. We're gonna worry about um, getting this stain off my face later. Let's move on to the face razors, shall we? So, 
Oh god, I'm a little nervous, honestly. Oh, I'm scared. Holy crap, these things are so sharp. They work so well. Let me zoom you in. Let's do my sideburn area. Dude, so much hair. The sound is also very satisfying. Wow. All right, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. I feel like it'd be so easy to mess up and just like shave your eyebrow off on accident. Wow. My eyebrow is literally so smooth right now. That worked really well. It's also scary though. Let's just go ham, right? Wow, wow this thing is fun. Hmm. Okay, well that was exciting. Yeah, I probably won't shave my whole face like that all the time. I will use that just to clean up under my eyebrows though. Ooh, that feels so smooth. Yeah, I probably won't shave my face like that again, but I feel like that is great for like touching up your lip or just like getting hairs under here. I don't know how I'm gonna get this dye off of my face. All right, I'm gonna go try and scrub this off my face. Maybe some soap, I don't know. That's all for this video. It's pretty random. Just wanted to try out my face razors. I was really excited. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that will be in the description down below. I post way more of my day-to-day -day life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Wish me luck. <laughs>